Three dials and easy to understand operation. The Agrifim timer is one of the simplest watering timers for a drip system that I've found. Adrian Sanchez here for Sprinkler Warehouse. Let's get started. Now, what you gain in simplicity, you lose in control. That's true of most gadgets. And it's true of the Agrifim timer. If you want the timer to go off at a specific time of day, you'll have to program it at that time of day. If you want it to go off at two very specific times a day, you may be out of luck. However, most of us don't feel the need to be that uber specific about our watering times. And you do have a lot of choices with this timer. So let's check it out. The battery compartment is on the back. Slide out the little tray and install two alkaline or lithium ion AA batteries. They're not included. The bottom left dial is for frequency. The numbers on the frequency dial represent hours between start times. If you wanted to water every hour, then set the frequency dial to one. If you wanted to water four times a day, then set the frequency dial to six. Every six hours, your timer will go off. The timer begins your countdown from the time you turn the dial away from the reset position. So if you want the timer to go off at 6 a.m., then at 6 a.m., you'll need to turn the dial from the reset mark to the setting you want you can have up to 24 times per day. The timer doesn't start immediately when you set it. It will begin the countdown from the moment you turn the frequency dial away from the reset mark, and it will start however many hours in the future that you've set the dial to. So if you set the dial to six, it will begin six hours from now. The frequency settings include once every one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, 24, 48, and 72 hours, and also once a week. Next, set your runtime. That's the right bottom dial, and those settings are in minutes, anywhere from three minutes to 120 minutes. The top dial is for manual watering and rain delay. To start manual watering, turn the upper dial to the amount of time you wish to water. It will start in just a few seconds. As long as you don't move the frequency dial to the reset setting, your programming is preserved. You do not have to turn the manual dial back to reset afterwards. In a rain delay situation, if the weatherman is calling for rain, you can set the rain delay function to postpone your watering cycle temporarily. Turn the top dial to the reset position, then turn the dial to the amount of time you wish to delay your cycle, 24, 48, or 72 hours. The timer also has a battery indicator to let you know when it's running low. One flash at a time, your batteries are good, two at a time and you're at the halfway point, and three flashes at a time, your batteries are running out of juice. In the hose bib connector, here on top, there is a mesh washer. Do pull it out every once in a while to clean it. The timer also comes with a drip tubing adapter that will fit any half inch drip tubing. I thought that was pretty cool. Screw the nut back to fully reveal the barb, wiggle on the tubing, and then screw the nut back on against the tubing. When installing this with your drip system, you'll put the timer before the rest of your head assembly. All in all, this is a pretty solid no frills timer. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, chat with one of our superb customer service agents at sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Adrian Sanchez. See you later, irrigator.